Jesus comes down and asks me to cook him eggs, sorry bro, not nah, doing it. <laughs> Hey guys, Clary Bear here. I just had a little something I just want to kind of get off my chest. I love Natalie from Fruit and Family, but I just had a little response to make. I saw one of her videos. She was talking about how her husband eats meat and she has to buy eggs. And, and I know that there's a lot of other people that do this for their family, for their kids. It's kind of a pet peeve of mine. I don't want to be like bossy and tell everybody, you know, what they should do, but I, I just don't, I don't get it. Although I, I mean, I do. I get the disconnect of saying, oh, I don't want to make my family go vegan if I'm going vegan. And I don't want to totally, completely change their eating habits right away. Maybe even if I'm changing mine and I don't want to have them miss out, you know, they're picky eaters and they're not going to like this other stuff and yada, yada, yada. But as the as the female as or even just if you're the male if you're the food preparer i believe that you should absolutely have a say in what you are preparing i don't believe that a vegan for any reason should be forced to buy or prepare non-vegan foods and if it were me i would sure as fuck be putting my fucking foot down and saying maybe not fuck you but uh <laughs> i would definitely be saying hey I'm not cooking this shit anymore. Not only that, I'm not going to buy it. If you want it, you can go get it yourself, but you're going to prepare it and you're going to do the extra work. If you're not used to cooking for yourself, then you better learn how to start if that's what you want to eat. If you want to eat, if you want to have somebody prepare your meals like you always have been or like you're used to or whatever, then you can eat the food that I'm cooking. And again, I would do this for a child or a partner irregardless of how long I had been with them, how long we had both been meat eaters before or whatever. It doesn't make sense to me at all. I just don't get it. I don't get why you would subject yourself to that. I don't get why you wouldn't try to push them in that direction. I mean, because that's basically all you have to, to try to get them to eat, you know, is to serve them the foods that are great. And that is only through that that they're going to see that these vegan foods are fucking awesome. They're tasty. They make you feel good, yada, yada, yada. And it, I mean, it just seems like a good compromise to me. I don't know. What do you guys think? For kids, I, I've been there. I've done that. I've, for the first year of my vegan lifestyle, I continued to buy some vegan foods for my kids. It was only for eating out only as a special occasion. I don't know why I drew the line there in the sand, but I decided I was not gonna have it in my house and I was not gonna prepare anything. No meat, no dairy, no eggs, no nothing. And this worked out really well for us. It gave them a transition period. However, I definitely wish that I would have decided to stop that sooner. I don't know why. Like I said, I thought that they needed that for their transition or that they needed that in order to feel normal or to get used to it or whatever. But for whatever reason I did and they got used to healthy eating at home and they also had some time to kind of realize that my food wasn't that bad because they were tasting it. I think it was in getting inspired by Banana Blondie. She inspired me to think about why am I doing this? Why am I continuing to purchase non-vegan foods as a vegan? This doesn't make sense. And I also had attempted to show them some vegan types of videos. I started off, I felt they were a little young to go into earthlings or something. So I started off in something a little bit less gruesome than I kind of built up to earthlings. And ultimately, it was a different video, a shorter video that finally kind of made them to take the leap. And they're not perfect. They've, my one, my older son has eaten meat once. And they do a lot of cheating, honestly, on things that aren't completely vegan, like a dessert or a muffin or something like that. Or on Easter, they had a little bit of non-vegan candy. But they're definitely vegetarian. That goes for school. And like I said, my youngest one's definitely vegetarian. And my, my older son is mostly vegetarian. He just has messed up that once when he was out to dinner with a friend. What I did with them is I told them at a certain point around one year, I said, you know what, we're not going to do this anymore. I think I maybe gave them like one or two last times or, you know, and I gave them the other, you know, when we're eating out, instead of buying this, you can get this. I allowed them to make their own choices if they were paying for their own food, if they were getting, you know, somebody else was paying for it or whatever. Then, yeah, I pretty much used animal cruelty videos as a punishment if I thought they were being really, really bad or, you know, like really, I mean, they're not bad kids. They're great kids. But if I thought they were acting up, I would say, all right, here, you know, you can, you can watch this video. 
I don't even remember what it was, but I thought that it would help their character or something at the time. And it worked. They kind of, I think they kind of did it for me and they kind of did it for the video, but for whatever reason, I think they kind of did it because they realized how easy and tasty and how great they feel on it. Because, you know, like I said, they've been eating at home, they've been eating what they needed and they would buy chips here and there that had a little bit of milk in them or something for themselves. But, you know, now they, they read the labels and they know. And, um, again, I just think it's helpful that, you know, to kind of push people in that direction and push those around you. And I think that it's, again, I just think personally, I, I could never do that. And I don't see why you would want to, you know, I know that, you know, when you're in a relationship, you think about the other person and, 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 but after a certain period, especially after being vegan for a couple of years, there's no way in hell I would cook eggs for any fucking body. Nobody. I don't care if you're the Pope, Mother Teresa, Jesus comes down and asks me to cook him eggs. Sorry, bro. Not doing it. <laughs> so anyway, let me know what you think. Do you continue to do this? If so, why? Is there anything I can do to help you kind of take your power back and realize that you don't need to be doing that and that there's no reason that you should be put through that? I think I'm repeating myself now, but let me know. Let me know what you think. Peace out. Talk to you later. Have a great day. Don't eat animals or their periods. And... Don't forget to eat your fruit. Bye. <laughs> Bye.